The reunification of China had always been the unswerving goal of the Communist Party of China and the whole Chinese people. On September 22, 1982, Margaret Thatcher visited China to negotiate the future of Hong Kong. After two years and a total of 22 rounds of hard negotiations, the Chinese and British governments formally signed the Sino-British Joint Declaration on the question of Hong Kong on December 19, 1984, stating that China would resume sovereignty over Hong Kong on July 1, 1997. The third generation of CPC central leadership with Jiang Zemin at its core braced themselves for the historical responsibility of realizing Hong Kong's smooth return to the motherland. After over a hundred years of foreign rule, Hong Kong had returned to where it belongs. It was a great achievement in Chinese history. Hong Kong residents have since become the true masters of their own home city. While Hong Kong was returning home, another child of China was getting ready to do the same. On the day of its return, not many had expected that Macau, which had had negative economic growth for four consecutive years and a serious problem with public security, would soon become one of the fastest growing economies in the world. Taiwan is an inalienable part of China. In the early 1980s, Deng Xiaoping's concept of one country, two systems, created possibilities for the development of cross-straits relations. Though separated by mountains and rivers, we enjoy the same winds and rains. The reunification is unstoppable. Just as we are united, we will be able to build a united nation.